So I saw this question on my Instagram uh, reel a few days back and I thought this is one of the most interesting questions in neuroscience. Where can we get more dopamine? Dopamine is popularly known as the pleasure chemical. So any activity that increases dopamine should make you happy. But the paradox is that any activity that you do that makes you happy, if you keep doing it again and again, you might find yourself getting less happiness from it. And you may have noticed this. The reason for this is that dopamine is actually not a pleasure chemical. It is the anticipation of pleasure chemical. What this means is that the dopamine spike that you get in the brain actually comes when you're waiting for the reward, when you're anticipating something good happening to you. So once you get the reward, the dopamine spike falls down and every time you get a consistent reward, the spike reduces in height, which is why there is a phenomenon called variable rewards, which means that if every time you try, you don't succeed, it actually increases your happiness at succeeding whenever you do. So coming back to the question of how can you get more dopamine? The best way is by increasing the effort needed to achieve that dopamine spike. Now, this may sound counterintuitive. Why should more effort lead to more happiness? Shouldn't we be happier if it takes less effort? Now, this is where you need to learn a bit of evolution because all the things that are associated with a large dopamine spike earlier would take a lot of effort. Like for example, getting a high calorie diet or finding a suitable partner for mating. But things have changed and times have changed. Now, the same things can be achieved with a lot less effort. And unfortunately, just because our surroundings have changed doesn't mean that our brain has. Because it takes millions of years for our brain to evolve and change those basic neural networks. And what this means is that those same rewards that were earlier very expensive are now available for less effort, but it still gives the same amount of dopamine kick. So what we end up with is a two level pleasure system. Level one is where you put in a lot of effort, you get your reward, you get a dopamine spike and you feel happy. This is how it has always been and I will call this earned pleasure. Now level two is where outcome is rewarded, which was never a problem before, but now it is because now it is possible to get outcome without effort. And I'll call this as cheap pleasure because it is not earned through biological effort. So examples of cheap pleasure is any addictive substance that can directly give you a dopamine spike like cigarettes or alcohol, high calorie food that is easily available or even pornography. So coming back to the question of how to get more dopamine, there are two ways of increasing real earned pleasure in life. Step one is by making cheap pleasure more difficult. You can do this either by increasing the waiting time by denying yourself pressure for a longer time. And interestingly, a lot of people have figured this out in different ways. In fact, many religions advise you to deny yourself pleasure by fasting, by becoming celibate, by saying no to sex. All of these techniques are basically ways of teaching your brain on how to control or reduce cheap pleasure. But you can also make cheap pleasure difficult by increasing the effort needed to achieve it. For example, if I want to watch Netflix, I might say that I will watch Netflix only if I finish this task. Or if I want to eat a high calorie desert, I might say that I will only eat this if I do 15 push-ups or 30 push-ups. Having some kind of obstacle between you and cheap pleasure automatically puts restriction in your brain and makes it an earned pleasure. Step number two is by making earned pleasure more easy by building discipline. Earned pleasures are difficult because they take effort and our limbic system wants to conserve energy and not put in effort unless it is important. Turning sustained effort into a habit overrides this limbic veto power and makes it easier for your prefrontal cortex to stick to your schedule and earn that pleasure. I hope this answers your question on how to get more dopamine. If you have more questions, leave it in the comments below and I will pick it up in future videos. I hope this video has been useful to you. In the meantime, keep learning, keep growing. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.